The best part of science is the baby otters. The second best part is running experiments in a lab. That's what we're doing now. There's a lot of life in the water around you. Now, I'm not talking big animals like sea turtles and river otters. I'm talking on the microscopic level. So bacteria, plankton and algae. Sometimes you just gotta know what's in your water. And it takes a laser to do it. Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm just a girl in the physics world here to tell you how you can build a microscope at home to see the microorganisms inside your water with lasers. So here are the things that you'll need for this demo. You're gonna need a laser. If you are at home, then I recommend using a cat toy. And some water. In today's demo, we have water from the San Francisco Bay and pool water. You're gonna need that in a pipette or a bottle. Before I do any laser work, I do have to put my laser goggles on. Remember, if you do have a cat toy at home, please don't point them at anybody's eyes and always pay attention to where you're pointing the beam. So I have my water and my laser on a stand because imagine trying to hold this bottle and then trying to align the laser at the same time. My hands are too shaky for that. If you are gonna do this at home, I recommend using some books of a cardboard box and align them to the same height. So the first one I wanna test is the bay water. This is unfiltered, untreated. Before we shine the laser on, I wanna squeeze out a droplet big enough that the laser can pass through it. And then the next step is to put the laser on. To see this better, let's dim the lights. And already we can see so much movement. There's loads of dots on the screen. These are all little bacteria, plankton, algae, anything that is really small and microscopic that is found in the San Francisco Bay. So the reason why we can see these microorganisms on our white screen is that the droplet itself acts like a lens. The laser is getting refracted twice inside the droplet and then it's projected onto our white screen. So you're magnifying the image of what is happening inside the water. So they kind of look like they're in a little tornado in there. So we expect bay water to have microorganisms in it. But what about pool water? So we've changed the bay water now into pool water. And the first thing I see is basically less action. So occasionally you might see some microorganisms going around. These microorganisms look a lot bigger than the ones in the bay water. So this could be because of the chlorine or the bromine that we use to treat pools, killing off all the smaller microorganisms and leaving only the bigger ones. So I'm glad that we do treat our pools with chlorine or bromine, so we're not swimming around with loads of microorganisms like in the bay water. Now that we've compared the water, um, we can turn the laser off and put the lights back on. I work in a lab like this and I have access to loads of scientific equipment and gear that allows me to do cool science every day. But I think it's cool that you can do science at home and see the wonders of the world in a whole new light. Laser light. Now that is what science is all about. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really, I've seen this one over a hundred times.